Vanderlander's PAX Checkpoint solution helps to improve the passenger's experience at an airport by offering them a stress-free journey. It combines an advanced automated screening lane with multiplex screening software, both of which can be adapted to meet an airport's specific needs. At the beginning of the lane, a passenger stands in front of a divest station. This lane features three parallel double divest stations, meaning that three passengers can divest simultaneously. Sensors detect the presence of a passenger to ensure that trays are always available. The unique design of the tray transfer mechanism prevents tray starvation and means that passengers don't have to wait unnecessarily. This specific lane has been integrated with a CT scanner. This means that at some airports, passengers can leave their liquids and electronic devices in their bags and move through the walk-through metal detector when ready. The trays are automatically transferred to the X-ray or CT scanner thanks to the lane's motorised rollers, which are covered in rubber for noise reduction. Both the lane and screening software can be integrated with traditional or CT scanners. As PAX Checkpoint is entirely modular, the scanner can easily be changed. The module located after the X-ray scanner is the decision conveyor. Its purpose is to give more time to screening agents to analyse each image while the tray keeps moving. Once a tray reaches the end of the decision conveyor, it is automatically diverted according to the screening agent's decision. Cleared trays are sent to the reclaim lane, and rejected or unprocessed trays are sent to the reject lane. This whole area is also protected with plexiglass covers so that passengers can't reach their belongings before they are cleared. After going through the metal detector or body scanner, passengers are directed to the reclaim area to gather their belongings. To increase throughput, Vanderlander has also developed the empty tray recognition system. At the end of the lane, a camera scans the content of each tray. Empty trays are automatically moved to the tray collector and returned to the beginning of the lane. When a tray is sent to the reject lane, the respective passenger is invited by a security agent to take part in a secondary search. By scanning the RFID tag integrated within the tray, its associated X-ray image and picture are shown on the screen. Thanks to PAX Checkpoint's human machine interface software, agents can see the status of the lane and each of its modules, as well as any warnings and alarms. This is a typical remote screening room. As our multiplex screening software centralizes the image analysis process, images can be analyzed anywhere at an airport. The centralization of image processing allows airports to improve resource management as multiple agents can screen the images coming from one lane during peak times. A single agent can analyze the images coming from multiple lanes during slow periods. Our software allows agents to see both 2D and 3D images while using advanced detection capabilities. The software's design interface is common to both types of scanners allowing for an easier transition between technologies and easier training. Back at the beginning of the lane, the agents can easily access additional trays if needed and can stop the rollers at the touch of a button to insert them on the lane. The lanes can be straight or curved and their colours and materials can be adapted to any airport environment. In addition, each module has been designed to be easily installed and maintained. To meet the specific requirements of the aviation industry, Vanderlander continually adapts its innovative solutions in order to provide future-proof security checkpoints.